Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost and today we are kicking off a new series. So a lot of you seem to want this. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's get started. So today's episode will be setting up uh, both the player's hand and the AI's hand and just generally getting some variables that we'll make use of in future episodes. Uh, so yeah, first if we go into the room uh, we just, the width needs to be 640, and the height 360, uh, and that's all we really have to do for the room. Now I'm just going to rename it, and I'm going to call the room, room main, and now we need to add all the cards. So I will link the cards that I've made in the description. If you want to make cards for yourself, then you can absolutely do that. Um, just make sure that the origin is um, middle center and if you're going to make your own cards then make sure the width is 90 and the height is 105 and then it will all just fit perfectly. So I have gone through all the cards and I've added all of them as you can see all the, all the origins are middle center and yeah so that's all set up. So next up we need an object and we're going to call this object uh, deck gen. However this object is gonna uh, behave not only as the deck generator but also as like a control object as well. So I'm just gonna make this bigger. So to start with we're gonna type some code in the create event and we are gonna get the variables together for the start of this project. And to start with we are going to get the player's hand variables set up and stuff like that. So I've got this all commented and I'm gonna talk us through it so let's get started. So, description, initialize. So, window set size. I'm just scaling the game up to 720p. It's optional. And then, with window set position, I am just setting that to the center of the monitor. Um, and that's, if your monitor is uh, 1920 by 1080. Randomize. This will just give the game a random seed. Room speed is 60. Uh, 60 frames per second. No console peasantry here. Right. Now, we're going to create the deck. This is not required for the game. Uh, but I just wanted to show off DS lists, if I'm honest with you. So deck P is DS list create, and we are going to create, uh, yeah, the deck. This is the player's deck. So script create deck, and as it says, we're just going to create a deck of random cards. So let's get into that now. I'm just going to create the script, uh, script create deck. So in here, we're going to have a for loop that is going to go off five times. Okay, and it's going to just choose five random cards for our deck, if you like. So let's let's go through this. So this script uh, is going to give each card a random sprite. Uh, so it's just random deck de generation. So uh, a for loop, this just means we're going to do it five times. Uh, we're going to have a random range between one and twelve. If it's one, we'll add the card. Uh, we'll add to the list the sprite card Dover. If rank card is two, we'll add card horned imp if it's three we are gonna add howler and we're gonna do this up until rank card 12 so I'm just gonna skip ahead here there we are uh, and then at the bottom we have a little line here that says DS list shuffle so this then just shuffles the list order okay so with a loop I starts at one okay and then Every time all of this code block happens, I will plus equal 1. And it will do that until i is less than or equal to 5, okay? So while i is less than or equal to 5, every time uh, we go through this code, I will add 1. So once i becomes 5 or more than 5, it will stop, okay? And that will then uh, add 5 cards to the list, because that's how big our hand's going to be, okay? So if we head back to object deck gen in the create event we are going to write some more code so this time we're going to set the score for both players the player score will start at 5 as will the enemy score uh, we're going to create an array now to store the players cards think of this very similar to a list okay uh, and we're just going to set our hand positions to equal no one for now they're not going to equal anything right now okay uh, then we're going to draw five cards and we're going to do that through the use of this script here, which we're about to set up. So an array, uh, the way we're going to be using this array is very much like a list, I guess we can probably describe it. 
Uh, so hand P is going to hold five positions. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. And coincidentally, that's how many cards we're going to have in the. Uh, well, it's not really coincidentally, right? <laughs> I meant I meant to do that. So we're going to have five cards in our hand. Okay. And the reason I have script draw is it's going to draw the five cards. Now, this, again, is not necessary for this project. We could have just created five cards. But I thought I would do this so that if you guys wanted to make a card game of, room that, a card game of your own that requires drawing, you will know exactly how to do it. So with that being said, let's create script draw. So first off, we're going to set... Um, an argument. Now an argument is what you pass into the script and I'll show you that once we've written all the code in here. Okay? Oops, hold on. So my bad was just making the window bigger. Okay? So now we've got another for loop and we're gonna... Um, so again, as, as we said again, it's a loop and this will happen uh, as many times as you set as you pass into the argument. Okay? So if DS list is bigger than zero, that means there are actually cards left in the deck then we are going to set uh, a variable called, called card draw and it will just get the very uh, sort of top card of the deck. Okay. Now if hand position one is no one, then hand position one will now equal instance create layer at that position 50 by 100, uh, object card p which we'll create in a moment. So that creates the card and then we're going to set the uh, sprite of that card to the card draw. Okay. And then with hand play one script assigned stats and again we're going to create that script in just a moment uh, and then we're going to say so else if hand two equals no one so then we'll go through hand two and we'll just say um well we'll, we'll just do the exact same thing really uh, and we're going to do that for all five um positions of the hand okay so i'm going to skip ahead and get the rest of them down and then once they're all in I'm going to just go through that again. Right then. So, let's just have one more look at this. So, when we set card draw here, um, now remember, when we assign sprite index uh, of hand position 1, which is the first card that we create at this position, which, this is just trial and error, that's just where I like the card to be, um, and then we set the sprite index to equal card draw, which is the very top of the deck. Now, if you remember, when we create the deck, um, everything that we put into the list is a sprite. Okay, this is just the way I've decided to do this. So, the list contains nothing but the card sprites. Okay, so, when we say sprite index equals card draw, that is just essentially the first or the top sprite in the deck. Okay, and that then just assigns it to uh, the first card. And then we, it's the same code for all of them except the uh, positions change. So that just creates card 2 40 pixels below card 1, and then 40 pixels below that, 40 pixels below that, and you see where I'm going with that. Um, and then what we do, every so obviously th this is going to happen, all of this is going to happen five times because that's what we pass into the argument. If you look uh, here, we're passing five into that. Therefore, it is going to go through this for loop five times. Okay, and then once it has gone through through the every time it goes through the loop, it will delete the top card, the top position of the list, position zero, because we've just drawn it. Okay, else, so if DS list is bigger than zero, so that means there's cards. But else, so if there if there is less, if there is zero cards, essentially is what that's saying, break. So this just means we end the loop early. Now what we need to do, now that we have established that, we need to create this script here, script assigned stats, and once it is assigned a, a sprite to the card, it is going to get the stats for that card. Okay then, so I have commented this a little bit, uh, just sort of describing what we're doing here. It should be self-explanatory as, as we go through this. So we're going to start and assign all, all the sprites in this script. We could have done this through an any file, 
that, that we could have loaded things from, or we could have used JSON. Now, I've never used JSON before, so I'm not going to comment on that too much, okay? Um, or the other alternative is you create a bunch of objects that have different sprites and different stats already loaded, okay? But we're going to do it like this. So if sprite index is Dover, then we'll, uh, we'll set up to 8, down to 6, left to 6, and right to 5. Now, the object card is going to contain these variables. Now, we haven't created that, but we are going to create it in a moment. Okay, so what I will do is because I'm just going to, we're just typing out all of the cards here and their stats. I'm going to skip ahead. I'll show you all of the stats so you can pause it and write them in. And then what we'll do is we will create object uh, card. Okay, so I'll be back in just one moment. Okay, then, so as you can see, um, all of the cards are there. Feel free to just pause this and write them in. Um, all we're doing here is assigning the stats, as I said. So if we go to script draw, with hand P1, this just means you are now controlling hand P1 from uh, that instance itself. So the instance itself runs this script. Okay? Now, we need to create object card P. So let's do that. So let's call this object card P. Uh, for player, and then we'll also need an object card E for the enemy, and then we'll also need a parent card. So let's, with uh, object card P, let's assign the parent, and we're also going to do that for card E as well. So first of all, let's worry about object card P. We need, it needs a create event, and in this create event, it needs this. So let's initialize the card. Quick image var. Uh, set the depth at minus y so that it's uh, on top of the other cards. Now we'll just set, assign in the stats. Uh, and then the technical variables. We need to get the start x and y position of the card. Um, I'm sure you can imagine what this do. This When we've played it, that'll just set to true. And when we flip the card, so we turn it from one place control to the other, uh, this will, this will just turn to 1, and it will go for like a phase to flip it, okay? Also guys, just remember to place object deck gen in the room, because this is something I constantly forget. Right then guys, so as you can see, we have our hand set up. Um, in the next episode, we are going to do the same for the enemy. We're going to get their hand set up. Um, and then we're going to start manipulating the cards, okay? And we're going to get the background and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me guys, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this, and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.